one, lift off. All three robots underway for the Blue Alliance. All three robots now underway for Red, trying to get the gear onto the airship for the Red Alliance. See if they can get it up and get it mounted here in autonomous mode. Autonomous mode comes to an end. The drivers now step up and take control. One single rotor moving now for the Blue Alliance. They've got an early advantage. Red Alliance will do some catching up. Frog has himself a gear. Can they get it picked up and on the peg? Now the red ship has their rotor going up on top. That center rotor is moving. We've yet to see all three rotors in action here today. Red Nation Robotics has a gear. They've got it dislodged. Nicely done, but it may have been at the cost of their robot. They hit hard and they went still. 3061 has a gear right now as they're trying to get themselves underway. Husky Robotics trying to give Panda a nudge, and it looks like problems there for Red Nation Robotics. They hit a hard lick into the wall and have not moved since they bounced off. Blue Alliance getting another gear onto the peg. It goes up into the airship. And the pilots have another gear to put on the rotor. Two rotors spinning on each airship. Right now, two more gears needed to get a third rotor underway for the Blue Alliance. Team Frog heading down to the gear retrieval station. Oh, hard contact there as Team 3061 gets into the commando bots as Husky Robotics trying to prevent the gear from being loaded. And the last gear for the third rotor has been underway. There is your end game sound. The ropes coming down from the airships. Let's see who can fly. Team Frog and Vulcan flying, they're up in the air, trying to capture the rope and get airborne themselves. His Team 5889 up into the air flying, 4523 for McRobo, 3061 lights it up, and at the end also lighting it up was 5889 for the Commando. There's the animation coming up. For the Red Alliance, they have a score of 195. For the Blue Alliance, two ranking points and a score of 230.